Nothing scary going on here. We are going to use in Brilliant Stitch Artist Level 2 and Enthusiast to create quickly some spiderweb designs. The first thing I need to do is create the section that I want to repeat using the carousel of Enthusiast. So using Draw With Points, I'm going to simply create this pie shape for my spider web. Right click to end each section. I'm not going to really, I'm going to do lots of editing to this design, so I just need to get a rough draft started. So I have my shape with my three lines, which are going to be part of my web webs. I know the webs need to be curved, so I'm just going to, just to get an idea first, I'm going to drag down my curves so that they are curving. And in order to use the carousel feature of Enthusiast, I need to have these objects have stitches. Enthusiast works with stitches. So I'm going to have them all selected, go to run, and I'm setting them to a bean stitch. I'm not paying attention to jumps because I will all edit that later. Once I have my design sort of created, I'm going to select it, go to utility, carousel, and I can see it start to take shape on my screen. So I can create as many of these spires as I want. I'm going to rotate them so that they mit meet in the center. I'm going to change the size of my circle. Rotate. When I get the shape that I'm looking for, so this will be my preliminary spider web, I'm going to click OK and I'm only going to worry about working with this first section. Let me change its color so that we can pay attention to just this one section because I want to now adjust these webs so that they are touching either side. So I'm going to select one. I'm going to make sure that my, my one side is touching. Adjust my angle. Move the next one to the next side. Adjust it how I want. I don't need to pay attention to starts and stops. I'm going to do the same thing with the next one. You can be as creative, add more nodes, but this is just a quick and dirty video showing you how this is done. The key point is that we want all of these webs to connect to each other. No gaps. Okay, so we have our one blue one that is set. So I'm going to delete the rest of them. I do not need to adjust them all. I can easily make them again. So while I have this one selected, let's zoom out to our hoop. I'm going to select my design, go to utility, go to carousel. I had gone to 11 last time, so I'm going to do the same this time. We know that it was approximately 90 for each one of these. Rotate them. Maybe make it a little smaller so they touch. I mean, these are all being adjusted as we go. Now I have my spider web pretty much how I want it to be designed. Everything's adjusted perfectly. Now I need to do my digitizing optimizing. <laughs> so I'm going to select all of my designs by selecting them all in my object pane. Go to Create Menu and choose Design, Combine Designs. Now all of these objects are in one singular design. This allows me to go to the Create Menu and choose to auto-sequence them, which puts them in a stitching order that the computer thinks makes sense. And then I can go to Create and choose Auto-Entry Exit, and that will optimize the jump stitches as much as possible. Running the Sew Simulator, I can watch my design stitch out on my screen. And I have my nice little spider web. Your spider web can become simple or complicated. It all depends on how you create the original wedge. And just imagine the wicked webs that can be woven as you adjust, add, and maneuver your objects to create your scary spider web.